Yo, what's up guys? Today's video I'm showing guys some make the Excel I done since we hit the sub goal. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, let's get right into it. So now I just want to make a new project. Um so yeah. New project here. Type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna make X X L tutorial. Tutorial. Right. And then once you have this, you wanna go right here press this or you can go to right here uh, I think file project settings make this 60 FPS um, you can make this 1440 if you want it doesn't really matter uh, and you want to save that and save it because um, I'm dumb um, yeah and save now you want to just drag in adjust um, not adjust one clip a fusion composition just like this and then after you have done that um, I'm going to go into Fusion, and then I have like a little template kind of thing. It's not an exact template, but it's like a thing that you have, um, so then it will be easier to make. So, it will just make it easier to make, and there's already the drop shadow, so you don't have to worry about those settings. So, you just connect it here. Right here, there's no name, but, uh, so... Right here, you're gonna type your name. For this video, I'm just gonna use like a Lake. Um, he's a YouTuber. He's he's a good mobile. He makes mobile tutorials. But I'm just gonna use his name because his name is pretty short. Um, and then now you just want to go into your text right here. Uh, Control C, Control Shift V, and then it'll be an instance text. So you want that instance text to be on the left, like that. And then you want to make this on up here on the right um so that's how you're gonna do it and then now you just kind of start masking so depending on how many letters you have so example lick has three letters so there's four mask paints you only need three of them because that's how many you need for how many letters so if, if you have five then you just control c d it and then you have five if you have less than one four you can delete it delete it and then you have three all right, so now onto the writing, write on part. All you want to do is want to go right here, grab this tool right here. It's like a little thing. I don't really know how to explain it. And then now you just want to uh, mask it uh, to like make it bendy like this. You want to just like uh, hold the click. So yeah, and then you just adjust it to your something like that. And after that, you want to go to your um, have inspector open like that, and then bridge scroll right here. Make the softness zero, and then you want to zoom in here, and then you want to make adjust the size. But as you can see here, the Y is coming in, so you don't want that to happen. You want to make us all in just yeah there. That's perfect. Actually, I can probably do like the zero. That's perfect since it's not coming out. For example, right here. It's not like uh, going from the Y, so then it just makes it look nicer. Um, and yeah. Okay, now on how to animate the thing, like actually animate it. Anim animate it. Um, right here you want to keyframe the stroke right on um, at zero in the beginning. Go 25 frame forward. So 25 is right here. You want to make it extend. So now this is what it looks like. It's rendering a bit. Okay, so now it just looks super linear, so all you want to do is go into your spline right here, click on the mask paint, um, and then control all, control, like click on this, control A, and then S, and then it just makes it smoothen out so it doesn't look as linear. So it looks smoother, there, just like that. You can adjust this like this, you can move this around if you guys do want to, but for this tutorial, um, I think just easy easing it is the best since um it just looks nice and doesn't you can adjust it if you guys don't like it so for the next one you just want to mask it again like this you just want to mask it same thing like that just mask it i'm not going to be doing this super precisely but you should do it because um i'm not going to use this i i didn't obviously is not even my name um but you just wanna 
make it precise as possible so then it looks nice all right so after you've done that again you just want to make the softness zero and then you want to turn up the scale a bit so it fills up perfectly yeah, that's about good uh, just mess around with it uh, I think I'm gonna make this move this away a bit move this one and yeah that looks nice and now you want to uh, do the same thing here the stroke controls so now uh, you want to go 10 frames before the L ends so 25 is where it ends so you want to go 10 frames before which is 15 you want to keyframe that at 0 like that now you want to go 25 from here which is um 40 and here you just want to make the right on full so it's like this so rendering all right so after you've done that you want to go to spline again um control click this control all or control z uh but if if you don't if you already messed around the settings in the first one then you just want to uncheck it like so so it's unchecked and then you just want to control all and then control s or no just s mistake s and then you can adjust the settings again and then if this like if this kind of pops up like that then you just want to like adjust like the little lines here to make it um more precise and you can change around the size and stuff like that too. So now the last letter, um, you just grab this tool right here and then you just outline it. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna go here, go back, go around. Now you wanna go to the softness zero. Make you can this one you can make the so that is pretty big because it doesn't it's the last letter or for the last letter you can make it pretty big and then now animate so the last one ended at 40 so this one starts at 30 keyframe it zero like so and then go 25 frames to the right so that's 55 and this one you want to make it full now you just want to go into your spline right here uncheck this one Click on this, control S, and adjust the settings. So now let's look what we have. Obviously you can make this look better if you guys put more time into it, but I'm just making a tutorial, so. And then after you've done that, you just have like your right on effect here. Um, you wanna drag this up here, go to generators, solid color, and make it like a blue. So it's like not anything inside of the thing. So you can see it clearly. It's like rendering, so. Also now, uh, if that, you just wanna uncheck these things right here and you wanna keep the media out like that. And you wanna delete the instance text and then you're good to go. Now for like the, the text above it that goes like right here, like the edited by text. You just want to grab like a normal text like right here. Um, titles, just the normal text. Uh, that's not normal text. Just text like that. And then you want to go about when it ends. So it's just about right here. Drag that on. Make this whatever you want. I'm going to do it. Uh, actually, no, you should just put edited by. And then the font is made sold me. So I just want to get that font. And then you can change it the red and like a darker red like that now I just want to adjust the size it's a little bit too big make it super small then you want to click so after you've done that you want to click this little box right here um a box right here while it's selecting it and then now you just want to adjust it like right there and then now you want to adjust the size You want to adjust the size of it like that and then zoom in a bit and then you can make it a little bigger too. Actually for this one I'm going to make it like that and yeah.
This is a bit too small. Actually, no, it's fine. So, um, let's put that right there. Oh, you can make it more perfect. And then now you just want to go to transitions. And then video transitions. This is a free one that it's included with DaVinci. So, um, it's just the shape and triangle left. That's what it's called. Drag it on. Um, make this about um, 20 frames. Actually, now you want to make it like, I think, 45. That's about good. You can adjust it, whatever, to your liking. Uh, I feel like I slipped a little bit too fast. I think that's better. And then you can adjust it, like move over here. And then now, you want to make another fusion composition. So, you just go through effects here, drag another fusion composition. Um, here, you just want to go into fusion. Actually, no. You got to right click. Open and fusion page like that. Um, right here you want to drag in the preset again, but this time you want to delete everything. It's actually no, you just want to delete um the basque paints because that's why you, you don't need that. And just connect it to media out. Make this um make this like a L, so it's like a little underline. And you want to make the rotation so it's like that. I'm gonna drag it right here. That make it a little bigger. Go back in here. Now you just wanna adjust it um, with using the little thing here, like that. I'll make it bigger. I think we should put this over. Actually, under. Control Z if you make a mistake. And then now the right on. So you want to make the underline after the edited by text. So um, it's about 1 minute 10 frames. You can just see, like right here, right click. Right now, you just want to make a mask paint again. Control space mask paint. Add it. And then. Uh, control shift, control C, control shift V. And then now you just want to do the same thing where you just draw a line. So now just after that, um, I'm going to make it the instance text there. Little text right right there. Make the mask paint again, um, size, softness to zero. Now for the right on, go to about 70 frames, depending on the setting frames, or whatever your ident finishes. So, for example, this one finishes at 1 minute 10 frames, about. Um, so, for example, this is ends like about here, so now, right here. So, you want to go back into Fusion and make that mask paint. Um, right on like that. Keyframe it there. Go about 30 to 25 frames. And then do that. Delete the instance text. And then you're good to go. But one more thing you can do is spline again. Um, here. And right here, control, all, S. And yeah. Okay, so now. Uh, and then now you just want to make this now like a green color um, generator 
like a neon green or something like that. And then I just want a new compound clip. Um, like that. And then you want to go fusion. Control space. Transform. Add it. Go to about two minutes or three minutes, depending on when your thing, your right on sets, ends. And then you want to keyframe the size. Go about 20 frames. Zero. Go here. Spline. Control all S. And play around the settings. And now you just want to render it. Um, Tell you some good settings, MP4 like that, and then make this restrict to spam a bunch of ones, and then it'll be the max. Make this 31, and then go down here for the beta. And a render queue. Um, let me just save it real quick. Render all. Alright, so after you've rendered it, uh, you just want to delta key it out. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. But obviously, you just, all you want to do, it won't work with a compound clip. Um, but you just want to get control so it's delta key here. And then you want to make the reference the background. But since this is a new compound clip, it wouldn't work. But you just want to do the same thing like that. And if it's a normal clip, it would work. So, yeah, that's how you make it. I'm going to enjoy it. Peace.